We're also tracking the latest developments in another story that was first breaking overnight. Tonight, the police, the fire marshal's office, the DEM, and the Coast Guard are all investigating suspicious fishing boat fires at the Port of Galilee. Now, here is a new look at the devastating scene. No one was hurt, but three commercial fishing boats were damaged, and tonight, the fishing port is now considered a crime scene. Iowa News reporter Perry Russell joins us now live from Narragansett with the South County Mobile Newsroom. This is one of the boats that caught on fire. It has since sunk to the ground. There is an orange boom around it that is keeping some of the fuel and some of the oil from the boat in that tiny little square. But before that orange boom was placed, some of the oil did leak into the water. You can see it right here. We want to show you how thin of a layer it is. So we're going to drop this stone into the water. The Coast Guard tells us that that oil, that fuel will be, will be absorbed naturally through the sun and through the waves. But the investigation into how these boats caught on fire continues. Police say this is now a crime scene after three fishing boats were on fire early this morning in Narragansett. All the owners have been notified. The owners have been down here and are aware of the situation. So the investigation continues. It happened at the Port of Galilee. The three boats were about a quarter of a mile apart. Arthur Johannes owns a boat at the port. He knows the owners of the boats damaged. Devastating. You know, it's... Uh... I, they both do other things for for income, additional income, because it's hard to make a, a living fishing 100% uh, for a total income. Like I said, there's still an investigation continuing on right now, and uh, be further developments, see what happens. We're going to be assessing damage in the docks and the vessels. The Department of Environmental Management owns the port. They tell us the port is Rhode Island's largest for commercial fishing. Costa tells us he spoke with the owners who have now lost a source of income. They're uh, extremely worried about their future and what's going to happen tomorrow, I would assume. And coming up at 6, we'll hear from one of the owners of the boats that was on fire. Live in Narragansett with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.